Okay, I'm Justin Breyer with Engraver's Choice. I own EngraveLabTraining.com as well as CorelDrawTraining.com. And those of you who have bought an Engrave Lab either from me or someone else uh, will learn that CorelDraw and Engrave Lab work hand in hand. So let's get into how the course is constructed here, getting started. I would have put, I would have sent you the course either on Jumpbox or on uh, Jump Drive. Um, I would have had you load it onto your um, onto your largest hard drive, and then I would have hooked up your remotely, set up your defaults here. So as you go into the course, you will see the main the main pull down. Notice that we have a color PDF manual. Now with the manual, what you're going to see is that um, everything is broken down into simple to read steps. So there'll be four steps per plate, three steps mainly with a review of the steps. So once you're in there, what you'll do is uh, you will go back to uh, the individual plates and you'll see the graphics, you'll see the, the, the name on there. And you'll see the all, all all the different sections that I have, and you won't see it. See uh, this now. The reason it took a while to come up is because uh, I'm recording this, but you'll see me talk about the five steps heavily, and which is star T S T A R R size of pl plate text on the screen assign the fonts of need to resize reposition. Going to do those no matter if you're dealing with. Corel draw or you're dealing with a grave lab or dealing with whatever program you're dealing with. And then you'll see the individual right up here will tell you the section it is and the video number. So it'd be A2 would be the video for this section. Uh, you also see uh, sample jobs and uh, defaults. So we will get into how I set up those defaults at a later date. Thank you.